Well, I'm on my way to the grocery store. Last week it was zero degrees. Yesterday it was sunny and 70. Today it looks like rain. We don't know how to dress here in Montana this time of year, so I'm just taking one of everything. A while back I did a video on heating your RV. And in there I mentioned that in my little wood stove that, I, that I've used in the past, I burned pellets. And one of my viewers asked, how do you burn pellets in a wood stove? So today I want to show you how you can do that. If you've got a wood burner in your little cargo trailer or your RV of any kind, uh, chances are it's going to be a small wood burner, not a big one. And it's going to require small chunks of wood to, to feed it with. So basically what you're going to end up with is you're going to end up with a bucket of, of, uh, of cut firewood that you've cut to special length and you're going to have another bucket of kindling wood. So one of the benefits of burning pellets is that you can eliminate one bucket. And in the size vehicles we travel with you know that that makes a big difference. Some of the benefits to burning pellets is that they're clean, they store easily, they're readily available, they're cheap, and they burn hot, and they're easy to light. In this little stove that I made out of an ammo can, you can see in there that I've, for a grate, I just used a brazier pan that you buy at Walmart. But that allows me just to throw the, the pellets right in there on top of the pan. And you can buy those, they have a handle on each end. So depending on the size of uh, the grate in your wood stove, you, can, uh, you could use one of those also. However, there's another way I want to show you. See, this is what was inside my stove. It, I bent the sides up, bent the handles up on the ends. It was just one of those cheap stainless steel things that you get from Walmart in the uh, barbecue section for sitting on top of your barbecue grill. But then I put it in upside down in the bottom of this little stove and it acts as a grate. This is a silverware container from Walmart. $3.86, stainless steel. This will work just fine. I'm going to have to cut it down a little bit. It's a little too tall for my stove. But whatever size stove you have, that'll dictate what you can use. You can use a stainless steel colander that are made with a, that are cut like this, you know. Just depending on just depending on how big your burn box is on your stove. But uh, today I'm going to use this for demo demonstration purposes. I like to use these wax impregnated fire starters. They're kind of sawdusty or they're made out of cane actually, but you can kind of twist them apart and they, they're all fibrous, they light really easy, they burn a long time. Anyways, that's what I use. I'm going to kind of bury it down here a little bit, the pellets. And we'll get her lighted. Pellets burn best, I think, in my opinion, when you light them from the top and they burn down. Otherwise, they burn too fast. There's a lot of surface area in a container of pellets like that. After it gets going, I'm going to throttle this stove down pretty much all the, almost all the way. Then we'll see how long it burns. Well, the pellets themselves are burning now, so I'm going to go ahead and mark the time, and we'll close the door here and just see how long or how long these burn. The top of the stove is too hot to put my hand on now, so it's already putting out pretty good heat. And that's six measuring cups of pellets that we've got going here. Okay, it's been going exactly a half an hour now. It's going well. So what I'm going to do now is throttle it down. I'm going to throttle it down by about half. And I may be throttling it down more a little later. We'll just see how long this goes. It's been putting out uh, uh, about a medium heat on the, on the stove. And that's plenty good enough. 
Okay, it's been about 35 minutes. It's going really well in there, but I'm going to throttle it down really low now. Pretty far down. But it puts out a nice amount of heat. You can cook on it right now. You could boil water on it. It might take a little while, but uh, you could definitely cook on it. It's too hot to put your hand on. It sizzles if I put a wet finger on it, so uh, it's pretty hot. Well, so far we've got two hours on six cups of pellets. It looks to me like it can go longer, I don't know, another half an hour anyway. But that's two hours. I think I've made my point here. So I purposely had the stove throttled down so that you can see that you can control it. And of course if I would have left it wide open, uh, it would have, uh, I think I'd have still gotten two hours out of it, but uh, maybe hour 45 minutes. That's just on six level measuring cups of pellets. So yes, you can burn pellets in your wood burning stove. So if that's something that could work for you, then you know, think about doing it. Um, I think, I think it's, uh, I think it's more like a, you can get more of a medium heat. I don't think it'd be something you'd use on a really, really cold day. Also, that, but that could vary. If you just had a bigger tray of pellets in there, something like a, a bread pan or something that was perforated, uh, you, could, uh, you could get quite a bit of heat out of it. So, I, yeah, I think you could do that. But I would use it more, uh, in my opinion, for, you know, moderate heat or medium heat. So anyways, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you around.